Well, I want to go over how to remove a baked brake drum that's stuck on here. Now you can tell this wheel, it ain't stuck because the uh, brakes are stuck or something like that. You don't need to go with the adjusters. Now if you can't spin the wheel, you know, first thing you do is you check to make sure you don't have your emergency brake on. And the other thing is you could, if, maybe if you got a rear, rear, rear wheel drive, maybe you got a locker or a posi in there, so uh, you know, you're going to have to jack up the other side of the car to make sure you can spin the wheel. You know, if you got a rear wheel drive and a posi or a locker. Now this ain't, this is a front wheel drive. The brakes aren't locked up, the emergency brakes off. And actually on this drum, it's got a little bit of a bevel like this that goes outward so it doesn't have a rusty lip that causes the, the uh, drum to hang up as you pull it off. I know with this thing, the problem on, on the other side, it took me like three hours to take this off and I know a shitload of tricks that probably aren't even on the YouTube because I was looking for some and I said, man, every trick they showed me I knew. Uh, it was actually stuck right here. Now, what you can do, because I know this thing's already screwed up, man. What you could do, put this on low, and it's a cut of, it's, don't go deep on there, but just carefully remove the rust at, all the way around here, and that'll also help the, the lube get pen, penetrating lube, which is, uh, you can use PB Blaster, but I've actually, I've heard, I know Croil works better than PB Blaster, uh, but I've heard, you know, they don't let you know in this, I've, and I'm going to start mixing up the crap myself, I heard just ATF transmission fluid with kerosene mixed together and a couple other things, and it's better than this shit even. This stuff is pretty good though, it ain't bad. Um, but, what you want to have is, these USA pry bars are good to have too. Uh, you can pry the pry this away. Try to pry it away. <laughs> See, this one's stuck as old hell, and you're not supposed to. Now I know I'm going to be doing it, and I'm not tapping it hard. You're not supposed to hit all around here like this. But what you can do is, as you're spinning it, you can uh, tap all the way around here, and uh, that'll help. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot about it. You know. I, I already took these off the first thing when you got these little locking clips you got to knock these off here these are we'll get those off here right now okay so I went around here real light with the Dremel on low just you know on an angle like this just to get the rust off because if you bust you know if you get it loose from the back here you don't want to have more rust to deal with you want to get that all off of here took these little clips off here you don't need them um, they're from the factory that's like when you, you bolt the wheel on it holds the drum on I mean you don't need these clips at all now the, I like these uh, USA pry bars obviously you can see see that <laughs> it's it's moving it's actually coming off the hub it's stuck right here now what you want to do is you want to spray down in there while you're um, in here while you're prying this away from the back you know and this might cook this one might be easier on the other side I don't know the other side was ridiculous it was one of the worst ones I did in my life <laughs> uh, so the other thing is, we're going to get a, now there's a puller they sell, and there's different kinds of pullers. Um, some of the cheap ones, you're better off using a screwdriver than a cheap puller. A cheap puller might run you 60 bucks or something. I mean, a good puller is going to be quite a bit over 100. And you want a heavy, heavy duty enough puller that it's not going to bend on you, right? And when you're using the puller, you want to tap all around here. Now you're not really supposed you really should be tapping right here versus up here but if you're not tapping too hard you're okay you can tap a little bit on the edge on here you're not supposed to tap the edge but if you're doing it light and you got a piece of metal behind there you're okay um, the other thing you can do is you get your propane and heat up all around here 
Now, it's not so much that that's going to expand the metal and all that crap. It actually causes the rust to break down. It does help the rust to break down a little bit. Not a lot. But usually heat works pretty good with damn bolts. But I, these, are, these are one of the worst. These have been on here for uh, 14 years. <laughs> so, they've been on here a long time, man. It's just some kind of government car or some bullshit. <laughs> Low mileage, but I'm sure it was out in the weather. Anyway, we're going to get a few of these screwdrivers behind here and uh, start working on it. Now, you notice I uh, tapped the screwdriver in here and I pulled the rim away, the, the drum away, away from the backing plate a little ways. And it's actually bowed out so I could spray a little bit of lube in there and it should get down in here. But it's pretty solid man believe me this thing was it was worse than all these tricks I knew but when I put three of these screwdrivers on here what happened eventually see what happens is you don't think you're doing anything just go slow keep tapping it keep prying it keep putting a uh, penetrating oil on it you're actually microscopically doing stuff a little bit at a time what happened in my case I had this all you know cleaned up all the rust cleaned up off of here on the outside and I was getting it pried away from here except this little spot down here and what happened was at the end I had three screwdrivers around here and it was like that and I was just working it and working it for a long time and you know I was tapping it with the three screwdrivers and then screwdrivers would pop out and all that crap and finally the whole thing just popped just popped all at once then after that what I did was um, I cleaned up this hub real good with a wire brush chemically cleaned it put some rust killing primer on it um, clean this all up put rust killing primer on every, everything on the inside and stuff and on the outside and then I put grease uh, marine grade grease all around in here after the paint was thoroughly dried and stuff and you know it'll slide in and off easy now if I ever need to change these brakes that's what I did in a nutshell but we'll see how this works out with three screwdrivers four screwdrivers whatever we gotta do here now I'm not sure if this one's going to be as bad as the other one, but you can see I already got it separated. It's like bowed out um, from the, uh, you know, the drum is actually bowed out, and I got it in two spots bowed out, and then we got your pry bar, so three spots. So if this was a professional puller, see that? See how it's moving? So that's how tight this bitch is man it's rusted in here big time it's only right on that edge right in right in there right on that edge on the inside it's ridiculous so how I was working it before is had three screwdrivers in it I was tapping it and I was putting penetrating oil in it and finally just popped but that's even if you had a puller this one would be a bitch to take off. Even if you had a really good puller for like 120, 150 bucks, this one would be a bitch to pull off. That's how bad it is. Because these three screwdrivers, well I got two in there right now, but with the pry bar it was like three. That's enough just to move it to break it loose. And that's just as that's just as much crap putting as much power on there as you would be if you had it um you know, you're using a regular professional puller, expensive one. Now, if you're using a shit one for 60 bucks, you would have already bent it. This is actually putting more power on it. But again, you know, and a lot of times you could tap it while you're putting the pressure on it. Not too hard. It's tight. You can, you know, there's another thing too. I want to tell you, um, I have a, the air hammer. And I got a thing on here that's like a blunt thing. It's not the chisel. It's a blunt round thing. And I was I was going around here just tapping it with that, going all over the place. I figured that would shake it loose. You know, I figured that would be a lot better than using a hammer. Even that didn't do it. That, the other one, I think, was maybe worse than this one. This seems to be moving a little bit better on the other side, but they're pretty bad. But this is kind of more extreme than uh, the air hammer trick is good. Now, if you really got something extremely bad, and say you got the part, you can just bust this thing right off with an air chisel. That's another way of doing it. Say you already got new brake drums, and you know the brakes are all screwed up, and you got to replace all the drums. Air chisel. <laughs> Goodbye. 
<laughs> you know, that's one way of doing it too. But make sure you're wearing a face shield if you're doing that kind of crap. You know what I mean? Now you see I got three screwdrivers around it. Now the other thing you want to do is actually um, turn the wheel and put the screwdrivers like one here, one here, one there. Do that kind of shit. Um, spray. So this is bowed out. This is bowed out from here. It's stuck right here, man. Even though the outside is, you know, shiny silver. If it pops away from this edge right here, it's going to be fine. But it's actually, this is actually bowing out from the hub, right? Uh, so, you can get back and you can get in there pretty good. And like I said, you need to turn it. It's a pain in the ass, man. It's a pain in the ass. So, I'm not smacking it that hard, you know, that's another thing. I'm not smacking it too hard. The other thing is, you can just leave it like that and walk away from it. And, um, you know, it's it's it may be moving very slightly at one point. Because <laughs> there is pressure on there, man. You see how much that's bowed out all the way around there? I don't want to put my finger in there because that's spronged out. It'll be like, uh. See? That's all. So. And uh, sometimes it just takes some time. So if you had a puller, you know, this thing would be a bitch too anyway. Even if you had a puller. This three screwdriver method. Now, with some heat, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. This is one of the worst ones I ever did because I know a shitload of tricks. And uh, the brakes aren't stuck. The brakes aren't hanging up on or nothing. Uh, because, like, the brake, the brake drum has got a bevel. So, it's one reason you don't want to be a mechanic because some asshole will be over there with his uh, yuppie money saying, I thought you told me $79 to change the brakes. In the meantime, you're working on the shit for three hours. Because this asshole freaking... That's when you cut him off with the chills when you tell him he needs new drums, right? <laughs> anyway, over that. Okay, so like I said, um, I rotated the wheel, turned it around, so like when I was spraying in the, uh, you know, PB blaster, it was, instead of it pouring down this way, the bottom part was up here, so it was pouring down this way. And I had the three screwdrivers around, just like a hub puller, which is pulling it away about that much, which is a lot of power on here. And I kept tapping the screwdrivers in and kept tapping all around in here with this. Not too hard. All of a sudden it went, bing! So that's it. Yeah. There's a little bit of meat left on those hubs. Not a lot, but I mean, on those brakes. So what we're going to do here is... Uh, we're going to clean this drum up real good. We're going to clean this up with starting fluid around here. We're going to wire brush all this bullshit. And we're going to paint it and with some rust killing primer after it's all cleaned up. This is going to be cleaned up really good. Paint a rust killing primer on the outside and on the inside a little bit where it mates. And put grease all around in here. So this will never do that again because it will have the rust killing primer. And it will have marine grade grease. Maybe all set. Now you can use brake clean. I always use starting fluid for everything because it's cheaper. <laughs> but it cleans real good. Um, you use the wire brush on here, all around in here. I don't even want to touch it because it's really chemically clean. Scraped it off with the scraper. And uh, so I'm going to hit that with a coat of paint or um, actually just rust killing primer um, after and let it dry. Yeah, same thing with this. Uh, hit it with starting fluid. I'm gonna actually put it in front of the fan, let it blow. You can probably some wind out here to blow dry, but bring it inside, put it in front of the fan. And uh, I scraped all around in here. So, you know, got any rust off of there. Scraped around here. This is kind of a beveled edge, so it didn't hang up anyway. That's a smart design. Now, if you got these, uh, I want to mention, a lot of times, not all the cars though, I don't know why the hell they don't make them like this. A lot of times the um, brake drums got a couple 12 millimeter screws, bolts in there, or three or whatever the hell it is, maybe three, I don't know, two or three, and you just put a couple screws in there and you can pull it out that way. I don't, I don't, maybe the aftermarket has that, but I don't know why Chevy doesn't freaking have that crap. I think Toyota has it or something. I don't know, but 
came loose and uh, the three screwdriver trick with the tapping all around you're not supposed to tap on the outside but don't overdo it you can just enough to loosen up the rust and like I said when you're spraying the stud it's getting behind here and where this was hanging up was right right here see on that edge right there right there that's all it was this this part right here on the inside and right there that's all it was but you know this is not that thick so you don't want to I was it was pried away from here and it was still that bitch was on there man but I know these never were taken off that's the first time they were taken off in uh, 14 years so now we're gonna put the uh, rust killing primer on there some grease light coat of grease all around in here and also on the hub when these go on they'll come off real easy when I whenever I want to do the brakes yeah so we're gonna put we put some uh, rust reformer on there it's not you know it's not high heat paint but it's figured it's uh, and it's on the inside too and it's on a side that's gonna touch that hub not touching not uh, where the brakes are touching though and uh, I use the uh, hair dryer to kind of blow that get that you know dry quicker and I'm gonna bring that piece in and put it by the fan and let it dry thoroughly and then we're gonna put some grease all around in here especially right on that lip and 20 years from now if you're taking this off it's gonna come off no problem they did that at the factory you'd have no problem taking this off as a matter of fact if they had those two screw holes in here the 12 millimeter bolts these would come off no problem even that way who the hell knows man that's where they do shit right stupid right I should say if you got a problem with uh, the brakes being stuck where you can't turn the wheel you're gonna have to get in the back and um, you know move the adjusters in and worst case you know what I never had to cut the freaking um, the little bar the little tabs whatever the hell you call those with the brake springs that hold the brakes I never had to do that I never had to do that usually this part is the part that's a bitch because even if it's hanging up on it on the brake drums, it, you, it, you'll get them off. As long as you got them collapsed, they'll, they'll come off. Especially with, the way I'm showing it with uh, pry bars and stuff, you're, they're going to come off. No, It's a matter of just giving enough time, too. Don't, like, beat the crap out of it. But you can tap it with a hammer. I mean, even though they tell you not to tap around the outside, you're not going to break nothing. As long as you don't go too hard with that hammer. The hammer is actually doing microscopic things to that rust. So, just these were these weren't too good. These were pretty damn bitch to take off, man. Admittedly.